So let's take a look at this example where we have three kids here, John, Emma, and Mark. And what we want to do is print the toys that they have. So the toys are list. So this is a nested object. So we have a list of kids. This is a class. So the class is down here. The class has name and toys here and toys is a list. So what we want to do is we want to use the select method and print the kid's name and the toys that they have. So the syntax is using the lambda operator here. We want the input to be the individual kid and get the kid's name and their toys. So here, then we have a loop, a loops through that and gets their name. So entry is the individual kid now. So it's high enumerable. So think of it like a list. So we now have a list there. And we then also get the toys, which at this point is a list. And that's why we use string or join method to change that list into a concatenated, comma separated list of items, a string of items. So once we have that, we can just print that. But there is an alternative way of doing this, which is select many. So what this would do is, again, the syntax you can see is pretty much the same. But at this point, after after the lambda operator rather than creating a new anonymous object what we're doing is we have another select embedded in here and this select will pass the toy so now notice here we are referring to toys so each kid has toys which is a list and we're doing a select on that and we are selecting that individual toy creating a new anonymous object out of it adding the kid's name from here that's the variable kid and toy is just equal to toy so this toy here is coming from here and that's the new object so it has two properties um, uh, which is the name and of course toy the capital p versus a lowercase t which is referring to this variable here and then once we have that this is going to create a sequence of these objects or you can think of them like a list but they're not like list they are i enumerable which is a sequence and we're just going to loop through that over here and for each entry we're going to print the name and the toy so at this point what we end up with is a simplified object versus this object which leaves the toys as a list so think of it like this you have a kit passing you their bag and in the bag here are their toys and each kid is passing you their own bag and they'll have their toys in that bag as shown here so you get given three bags so then you have to here extract that out with the string dot join but what's happening with this code over here and over here is we are getting one bag and all the toys belonging to different kids are here but with the toy it actually has a tag so there's a small tag here next to this toy next to this toy and next to this toy say this toy belongs to this kid so that's why we have this name element over here so i hope this explains the difference between select many select many allows you to flatten any hierarchy within your objects and make them appear as a, like a simple sequence of objects so this is just an anonymous type we are creating here so you can think of it like this select is basically giving you uh, bags here so one bag here one bag here while select many what it does is it extracts that information for you and just gives you the individual items